stereo television, you'll note that all the noise is coming from your right, my left here in the studio. Welcome to the all-new dating game, everybody. I hope you're all well and happy at home because we're about to have some fine video entertainment here. Let's meet our bachelors for the first game. Oh, they like you guys a lot. How are you? Are we ready to play? Let's have some fun. Bachelor number one, why don't you tell us who you are and what you do? Okay, I'm, I'm Rob Christie. I'm a music major in college, and someday I'll hopefully be a studio musician. Good for you, Rob. Now, now I, I, I need to know something. Are there any dating customs that you would like to change? Yeah, I think I'd like to abolish curfews if I could. Curfews. Because uh, I can't stand it when girls, when girls say that they have to be home by a certain time or something mm -hmm. just to make their father happy. You know, if they're more worried about making their father happy, they can just go out with him next time or something. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, best of luck to you, sir. Now, bachelor number two, why don't you tell us about yourself? Okay, I'm Mark Nowell. I'm a college sophomore, originally from Brownsville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I'm majoring in communications. Okay, now what is your best game plan for a first date? Uh, well, definitely my first goal is to just keep it light. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't want to bring up any topics of politics or philosophy. Uh, because it wouldn't be as much to expand on, I don't think. Uh, I can generally tell enough about a girl from the first date to see if we're good for each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you'll talk to this girl and she'll make a decision about you. I wish you luck. Now, bachelor number three, tell us about yourself. Yes, my name is Scott Davis, and I'm a college student majoring in psychology. Okay, Scott, what should a woman know about you before that you go out? Well, a woman should know that I'm extremely charming. I can even... <laughs> I can even charm the paper off the walls. Charm the paper off the walls, okay. And I also can charm any woman at any time, at any place. Well, Scott, I think uh, we'll all be the judges of that right here today. I wish you all the best. Shall we meet today's bachelorette? She's lovely. Oh, yeah. Straight up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get stoked and play the game. Bachelorette number one for our first game, Carol Mollett, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Carol, how are you? Why don't you go ahead and sit down? Now, Carol, you have incredibly green, those are green, right? right? Green eyes, yes. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Um, my name is Carol Millett, and I'm a student at Fullerton College majoring in psychology. Good for you. Now, do you, uh, as a psychologist, do you get any advice before you go out on a date? Um, just as I leave, my dad always tells me to mind my P's and Q's, which means Stay out of trouble, mm -hmm. no bad company, and don't go to jail. And if I do, don't call till morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's happened before. How does Dad feel about curfews? Mm, curfews, no curfews. Good, good, good. Let's play our game. Now you have the questions in front of you. Ask the questions of the gentleman next door, then based on the quality of their answers, decide with whom you want to go out. Just have fun. I'll be over here someplace. Okay. Okay, bachelor number one. When a guy gets too touchy and grabby on a date, he's really cruising for a bruising. What are some things girls do on dates that really get you angry? Uh, when girls push me away when I get too touchy and grabby. No, I'm just kidding. I swear, I'm just kidding. No, not too much makes me angry. Except maybe when girls nag about my driving or something, maybe. That's about it. Are you a bad driver? No, I'm a great driver. Okay, good. How about you, bachelor number two? Well, I don't know if all girls do this, but a girl I used to date, uh, we went out to a real nice restaurant one night, and at the end of the dinner, instead of going to the restroom, she pulls out this big bag and starts primping at the table, mascara, blush, everything, everywhere. And I'm not, I don't know if all girls do that, but um, that isn't too much for me. Well, you don't like a lot of makeup, huh? No, it's okay, but it, I just would rather them do it in the bathroom than at the table. <laughs> I agree. And what are some things girls do on dates that get you angry, bachelor number three? One really annoying problem when I go out with a woman is when they complete, all they do is complain and say there's, they have runs in their stockings. <laughs> or, or they might doodle or diddle with their teeth for a while and I'm looking around and people are looking at me funny as if I'm some kind of a dork. Okay, bachelor number two, when I get nervous on a date, I start to wiggle and can't sit still. Ooh. How would I know when you get nervous? Well, I do the same thing, but um, I have this thing. Whenever I get nervous, I start talking in these roundabout sentences and talking real fast and making no sense, and it just goes on forever like I'm doing now because I'm really nervous now. So, as you can see, I do that. <laughs> okay, I understand. Okay, how about you, bachelor number three? Okay, we're at a dinner, 
and I will begin ordering the strangest and most obnoxious foods I see on that menu, like escargot or rice cakes or something of that nature. I can't. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, how about you, number one? <laughs> oh, I usually, I always end up chewing on things when I get nervous. You know, I just, I'll stick things in my mouth, you know, like a fork or something, and I'll usually say something stupid and then stick my foot in my mouth or something. But that's about it. Okay, bachelor number three. I was shocked when a guy once suggested we go skinny dipping in the ocean in the middle of the night. What's the most shocking thing a woman ever asked you to do on a date? Well, I, it was one time when I was out camping with this young lady, and lo and behold, there was a major puddle that had evolved before my eyes. And I looked at it, and she looked at me, and she says, would you please take your clothes off so that I might walk over it? And I said, well, I'll just leave that at, at that. I said yes. So you people. wouldn't take your clothes off for me? I sure would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how long it was going to take, but I knew we'd get to that eventually, <laughs> and we did. Okay, how about you, number two? Well, um, I'm a singer, and uh, this girl I used to date one time, I wanted to sing one of my songs for it. It was a new song. And um, we, were going to, we were going to a nice club, and she said, well, just bring in the tape with you. And I didn't know why she wanted me to bring it in, because I'm a, basically a shy person. So I went to the restroom, and I came back, and my girlfriend was on the microphone on the stage announcing me to come up and sing. And I, that was definitely shocking to me. Okay, what's the most shocking thing a woman ever asked you to do, number one? You're not going to believe this, but this is the absolute truth. Uh, a friend of mine found out that uh, when cows get real sleepy at night, that they, they fall over real easily. So this is the truth. She actually wanted to go and uh, go late at night and push over these cows when they're asleep. <laughs> but I, we have talked about this kind of dairy abuse before here on the show. We've, we've, talked about, we've talked about the cows, but we'll talk about it again later. Well, it is time now, Carol, to render a decision about which one of those great guys you want to go out with. And while she thinks about that, you take a break at home, and we'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Hamster brain, hamster brain. Mom, she said I have a hamster brain. Did not, did not. Mom, tell her you love me more. Hamster brain, tell hamster her. brain, tell hamster her. brain. For life's everyday problems, there's nothing like the Regina Home Spa Personal Whirlpool. About 15 minutes a day will help relax your muscles. Relieve your tensions and soothe your mind. The Regina Home Spa, the healthy way to relax. Weight Watchers' new 1988 Quick Success Program is helping people lighten up. In fact, it's now helping people lighten up quicker than ever. Thanks to an all-new program that helps make losing weight healthier. And 20% faster than before. So starting today, lighten up. Join Weight Watchers' new quick success program, and in no time, we'll help get things off the ground. Uh, one out of four uh, auto accident injuries. Hello. This is Lawrence Caldwell? Yes. This is Sergeant Lechner with the State Patrol. Your husband has been in an accident and is on his way. He's going to be all right, but he is going to be off his feet for quite a while. I know, but you still have bills to pay. I really think you need to call a lawyer. Padway and Padway help people who've been injured in an accident. Call 839-7999. Through the years, the mothers of America have had a kind of medical training. Next. They've learned from countless doctors and pharmacists that the way to take care of a cough is with Robitussin. <laughs> And now at home, the mothers of America are putting this advice to work. Next. Robitussin, recommended by Dr. Mom. Which Robitussin is right for you? Ask your doctor or pharmacist. I'm not exactly a morning person. But once I get out of bed, my day is ruined. And the only thing that saves it is this. Folgers Crystal. There's a great day in the making. Mountain-grown beans roasted to perfection give Folgers Crystals a taste so rich it can make your day every day. Oh, now that's worth waking up for. I think this day's about one sip away from being just perfect. There's a great day in the making with Folgers Crystals. 
now with Carol. Carol, is it going to be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Bachelor number three. Uh-oh. Boy, this guy's not gonna be able to get his head out the studio door. Why did you choose number three? Um, because I like the way he answered his questions. He was kind of, he was kind of he charming. Was, yeah. Charming, I guess, he would be the word. He was quick with his answers. Charming and quick. Bachelor number one, the gentleman that you didn't choose. A girl shocked him when she wanted to go cow tipping, a problem of epi epidemic proportion in this country. Rob Christie, come on over and say hi to Carol. Now the other gentleman who couldn't win your affection, bachelor number two, says when he gets nervous, he just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. His name is Mark Now. Mark, come on over and say hello to Carol. She wants the handshake. He wants the hug. I love this show. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Lovely parting gifts backstage right now. Now step this way, Carol, and we'll meet the man of your dreams. The man who said that, yes, he would take off his clothes just for you. <laughs> and he'll be doing it on the show in just a few moments. His name is Scott Davis. Scott, come on over and say hi to Carol. Three envelopes, three trips. Who's going to choose, Mr. Charming? The young lady. Ah, that's a very charming answer. Choose your trip and tell us where you're going. I know there's going to be no living with you now. <laughs> Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Oh, that's a great trip, Charlie O'Donnell. Tell them about it. Carol and Scott, you jet from Los Angeles to Mexico for four terrific days on the beaches of Cabo San Lucas on the southernmost tip of Baja, where the Pacific Ocean meets the Sea of Cortez and crystal clear waters beckon you to romance and adventure. You and your dating game chaperone will be the pampered guest of Hotel Solmar, a secluded haven featuring comfortable spacious rooms, private beach patios, and a dining room with old Mexican charm, furnished by Hotel Solmar. Have a great time in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. All right, you're off to Mexico, land of love and charm. So I wish you the best, and I know he's going to be nothing if not charming throughout the entire trip. <laughs> Thanks a lot for playing our games. We have those dating game sombreros backstage. Go get them now. We'll be back with another game with three nice-looking bachelors right after this. Don't go away. Like me, it means you have to be extra careful, especially of those drivers who turn left right in front of you. If that happens and you're injured, you're going to need a lawyer, one who specializes in motorcycle cases. Now. How many of those do you know? I know one, John Riley. Call him at 1-800-99-CYCLE. Some members of our studio audience will receive Frigidaire's 1.3 cubic foot capacity microwave oven with 700 watts of cooking power. It features a meal minder probe built in browner and separate defrost power furnished by Frigidaire. And now, if you treat me just right, I'll introduce you to three great bachelors. Okay, let's meet them now. Oh, gentlemen, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good looking group of guys. Are we ready to play and very probably meet the bachelorette of a lifetime? Oh, you sure. Bet. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Who are you and what do you do, bachelor number one? Uh, my name's Tim Culbertson. I'm a stuntman in motion pictures and television. Okay, good for you. Now, what do you have to be careful of when you go out on a date? Most of the time is... Um, it's the amount of money that I spend, because mm. a lot of times if I take a lot of money with me, I spend it all. Mm. So I have to be careful on how much I take, because I spend it to have a great time. Well, good for you, and, and we'll be paying for the trip if you win it, so don't so worry about that at all. <laughs> Best of luck to you, sir. Now, Ambassador number two, why don't you tell us something about yourself? Hi, I'm John Cornetzer. I live in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh -huh. and I'm a precious metals broker. Okay, now how would you like to see a woman dress on a date with you? Well, I really like the sophisticated look on a lady. Uh, I think she should spend as much time dressing up for me as I dress up for her. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times I feel overdressed, but when I put on a tie, I really feel good about myself. And uh, I always believe in dressing for success. Mm -hmm. And probably the most important thing is, is the first impression really gives the other person a picture in their mind about how you are. Sure, that's why I don't wear shorts on this show. So, I wish you all the best, sir. Bachelor number three, why don't you tell us about yourself? Uh, my name is Mark Busby. I'm a graduate of the University of Minnesota, and I'm getting a master's degree at Fuller Seminary. Now, what are a lot of women concerned about on a date when they go out with you? Well, the thing that bugs me the most uh, is if they're concerned too much about money, mm -hmm. about social status, the mm -hmm. car they drive or you drive. 
basically because I'm poor and uh, I, uh, it kind of is a barrier to uh, good communication, getting let's, close. A, a theme we have here on the show today is let's not spend a whole lot of money of our own, shall we? All right, gentlemen, best of luck. Would you like to meet today's bachelorette? Yeah, sure, sure I can. think that's probably a good thing for all of us. She's over here someplace. Her name, by the way, is Joyce McEwen. Hello, Joyce. How are you? Fine, I'm just fine, thank you. Why don't you go ahead and sit down? I like it when contestants ask me how I am for a change. <laughs> Well, tell us about yourself, Joyce. Well, I'm a medical transcriber at a hospital in Whittier, California. Okay, now what was the very best thing that you got out of your last relationship with a guy? Well, I think that I realized just a little bit how much I'm willing to give to another person. Mm -hmm. um, I like to give all my thoughts, my time, my energy toward that person, especially when I, I realize that he's willing to do the same for me. Mm -hmm. Does money ever enter into this? Do you like to give a lot of money? Yeah, I like oh, to give a lot of money. Oh, good, because we have three cheapskates next door. And you will be asking them questions and deciding which one of those skin flints you want to go out with. So ask them the questions, have fun. I'll be over there in okay. case you need me. Thank you. Bachelor number one? Yes. Hi there. Hi. I love to read biographies. So if they wrote one about you, what would the first sentence be? Well, I guess to be grammatically correct, they'd have to have my name. And since we can't say my name on the show, <laughs> I guess we have to have uh, maybe statistics at 6'4", 210, blonde haired, blue eyes, uh -huh. very athletic. Uh -huh. Is he lying? <laughs> through his teeth. Joyce, through his teeth. OK, number two. There once was a tall, very handsome, debonair <laughs> gentleman from the South who finally had his dream come true by coming to Hollywood. He got to be in the movies. And most of all, he found his perfect date on the dating game. <laughs> OK, number three, what would be the first sentence of your biography? This is a story of a young man whose lifelong mission is to meet that special woman, go out on exciting dates, and boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, there are some days and I should be wearing hip boots up on this stage. I think this is one of them. <laughs> Thank you, bachelor number three. Bachelor number two, I never give advice on dating because I don't really feel like I know the subject very well. So help me out. What's a good piece of dating advice I can file away for the future? Well, I think on, uh, especially on the first date, you should uh, try to uh, be yourself, uh, not worry really about where the evening's going to go, just be honest and... Talk about likes and dislikes. Uh, too many times people, uh, uh, they don't communicate enough. So uh, at the end of the evening, they're both wondering, gee, did I have a good time? Bachelor number three? Well, uh, I uh, think that probably the best advice I could give is don't ever go out with three people on the same night. <laughs> uh, I've tried that. But seriously, I think you should make the person feel really special as if they're a good friend, and that uh, you've never gone out on a uh, date with anybody else. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, number one, what's a good piece of dating advice I can file away for the future? Well, some advice my father gave me one time was is that if you can't do what you can do before 12 o'clock, you might as well not do it at all. <laughs> Bachelor number three, I really love muscles on a man. What do you like to see on a woman? Well, I actually like to see my muscles uh, draped around the woman. Uh, <laughs> I but, knew it. I knew it. But, I saw it coming. But he did it. Seriously, what I really like to see on a woman is a smile, because I think if she's really radiating her personality, that it really makes her attractive. <laughs> number one. Well, if you enjoy muscles, then maybe number one should be your choice. But otherwise, <laughs> I would say. <clears throat> otherwise, I would say that. Um, um, what I enjoy uh, on a woman is a smile and a very lovely personality. Mm -hmm. And number two, what do you like to see on a woman? I think the first thing I see is her eyes. Mm -hmm. And by looking into her eyes, I see a lot of about the person herself, probably the way her body language is, uh, the way she comes across, and how she is, you know, looking at me. And most of all, I guess, uh, the, the idea of, you know, making that first contact and thinking about what's going to go on the rest of the evening. I, I really don't look at what, what she's got on. Okay. Okay. Well, Joyce, you have a, a tremendous task in front of you. You have to separate the wheat from the chaff, as it were.
and decide which one of those gentlemen you want to go out with. We'll give you a, a couple minutes to make that decision. I'm sure it won't be nearly enough time, but while she's doing that, we'll take a brief break, and we'll be back right after this. Introducing Fab One-Shot Packs, a new way to get clean, soft, static-free clothes all in one shot. Throw in your dirtiest clothes, then toss in a Fab One-Shot Pack. From washer to dryer, clothes come out so clean, soft, and static-free, anyone can look like a pro. New Fab One-Shot Packs does it all in one shot. Lens Crafters has a better way to make your glasses. Our laboratories are right here in the store, so we can custom grind your exact prescription in about one hour. Listen. We had them faster and didn't have to wait. The shortest time and the best pair I've ever owned. Eyeglasses within an hour and very good quality. Got them in an hour. Go in and get a good pair of glasses in an hour. Lens Crafters, quality eyeglasses in about an hour. 13 Bay Area locations, including Corte Madera, Colma, Santa Clara, and now in Monterey. Call 800-541-LENS for one near you. Listen, lady, I don't think a respected broadcaster like Ron Engelman needs to wear a gorilla suit to a personal appearance. I'll tell you what you need. You need a shrink. You're the sorriest excuse for a general manager I've ever seen. He's right, Pauline, and I'm telling you right now, no way am I wearing this to a Phil Collins concert. We don't need these silly gimmicks to promote the morning zoo. Do we? <laughs> Wake up with the morning zoo tomorrow, 6 to 10, on 106 KMEL. Senator, all they seem to know is that my son is missing. Jack Lemon, his son. Sissy Spacek, her husband, missing. What happened to my son? He knew too much. Seized in broad daylight. Oh, my God, that's him. An unforgettable thriller based on a true story. Do you think he's dead? Jack Lemon, Sissy Spacek. I just want my boy back. Name a missing person. Charles Holman. Missing. Tonight at 8 on TV44, the movie station. that music so much. Welcome back to the dating game, everybody. It is time now for Joyce to share with us her decision. Is it going to be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Bachelor number two. Oh, no, okay. Why, why did you choose him? Um, I liked his advice, his dating advice. He talked a lot about communication. I think that's important. Yes, my dad used to give that to me, too. He said, keep low and keep moving. So, let's meet the two guys you didn't choose. Now, bachelor number one said that if you enjoy muscles, he's the man for you. His name is Tim Culbertson. Tim, come on over and say hi to Joyce. He was not lying. Bachelor number three said, never date three women in one night. I don't know why not. Mark Busby, come on over and say hi to Joyce. Isn't she just, though? Yes, she is. Gentlemen, thank you very much for playing our game. Hope to see you back on one of our fabulous alumni weeks here on The Dating Game. Now, Joyce, step down stage with me. We will meet bachelor number two, whose biography would read, tall, debonair gentleman from the South. His name is John Kornatzer. John, come on over and say hi to Joyce. Yes, John, that's absolutely right. Let's make that face again, all of us, shall we? Ooh, look at her. Okay, three envelopes, three great trips. Who's gonna choose? Okay, I'll pick this one, and you can open it. Envelope two, as they're screaming from offstage, envelope two. Jeez. Oh, Honolulu. Honolulu, Hawaii. Tell me that I'll tell them about it. Of course, if you're on your way to four terrific days in Honolulu, Hawaii, you and your dating game chaperone will be the guest of Ala Moana Hotel, featuring fabulous entertainment, dining and dancing, shopping, sunning and swimming, furnished by the Ala Moana Hotel. Hawaiian Eye Tours will host you on a romantic sunset dinner cruise, a tour of the Polynesian Cultural Center, and a half-day excursion around Honolulu, furnished by Hawaiian Tours. You fly from Los Angeles to the islands via Hawaiian Airlines' spacious wide-body jets to Hawaii, featuring gracious island hospitality hospitality, hot meals, first-run movies, and hot towel service. Furnished by Hawaiian Airlines. Have a great time in Honolulu. That's right, Charlie. I love those hot towels myself. Trip to Hawaii, what do you think? Great. I mean, what else could you ask for, right? That's right. I've been dying to go back, so, well, yeah. Nice. I mean, you guys look good together. I hope you have a great time. Let's bring back the couple from our first game, Carol and Scott. We're off to Cabo San Lucas. Don't be scared. You've been backstage talking. Is he as charming as he first seemed? Yeah. 
Yes, he is charming. It's nice to know that, that he's got some staying power with that. We'll see you next time on the all-new dating game. Bye-bye, everybody. Our runners-up for today will receive new Lee Sculptured Nails. Professional and permanent-like salon nails you can do at home. New Lee Sculptured Nails. Or Fiberol, the laxative that's good for your health. Sugar-free powder, tasty oatmeal raisin wafers, or convenient tablets. Or Goldline's Jenna Pap. Sane, fast, safe, effective pain relief. Fast, effective budget relief. Goldline's Jenna Pap. Or when a man you've never met before suddenly gives you flowers, that's Impulse. A different all-over fragrance for every mood. Impulse Body Spray. Or Sunny Delight Florida Citrus Punch Brand. Nothing delights you like vitamin-enriched Sunny Delight, now in frozen concentrate. Or Stovetop Stuffing, made with crumbs and spices so delicious, no wonder so many families make it Stovetop instead. I want you to win a date to exotic places like London, Tahiti, Thailand. To be on the dating game, call 213-442-3560. That's 213-442-3560. Make way for the most hilarious and unpredictable game show ever, Matchmaker, coming your way next here on TV44. Like the sap on a tree. tree. Be aware of our presence and the house of. Who's come out the house and walk down the street? I'm troll on a roll and I'm always in heat. in heat. When they come down the street, the girls they claim I'm a nidge. Troll on a roll and there's a toll for this bridge. Troll is your body and an hour of time. I'm troll. I never stole. Nobody crime. When I'm drunk, I'm a roll. A little out of control. I'm troll. I can't fall. And I ain't got no soul. Cause I'm badder than cool. And cooler than that. I'm a kaipa. I'm a wise guy. That is that. that. Well, I'm troll, little girls. Like I said before. I may be a slut, but I ain't no whore. No whore. <laughs>
Hey, dude, what up? Turn that shit back on. <laughs>